All right, guys, welcome back to the channel once again. And today we're going to be talking about the Insights API in the Facebook Ads Manager. So what is the Insights API? Insights API is like the data which comes for the Facebook campaigns, ad set, and ads. So data is like uh, whatever the tracking data comes from the Facebook. So that data is going to be displayed into the Insights API. So it can vary according to the date range, like if you change the date range. So inside data is going to be changed, but the Facebook name and ad status and all the things remain same. Campaign data and ad set data and ads data comes into the different api but if you pull in the inside data related to those campaigns you have to use the different api which is this one inside api okay so into this one i'm going to be discussing about the issue i had recently while mapping the data with the let's suppose you have multiple campaigns 60 70 campaigns in a row okay and then you have to show inside data of all of these campaigns so inside data doesn't come like one by one like how you're pulling the data from the campaigns API so same kind of like in the same format same order the inside data gonna come so it doesn't gonna come it it will come on the random order so you have to find the data by ID and then map it and also if you are let's suppose you have loaded the 30 campaign in a table so you have to pull 30 insights or it gonna be random it doesn't like uh, you don't know about that like what cam for what campaigns the 30 top 30 data gonna be coming okay so that's how the problem comes to mapping the data for loaded campaign into your table so how you're gonna solve that problem so then one thing comes into the picture which is called um, filtering okay into this insights okay so by using the filtering you can pass the multiple ids into that like whether it's a campaign ID, ad set ID or ads ID. So you can pass the multiple IDs into that and then you can pull the data related to those campaigns, okay? Or ad set or ad. So it depends on the, what level you have defined in the, into the Insights API. So whatever the level you will pass and just pass the filtering data like with the IDs of that level and then you will get the data related to that. Thing, okay, so I'm gonna show you the one step by step one. I'm gonna show you how you can pull the data out of Insights as well and then it's good to go and what what metrics we have to pull from there so you can pull as much as metrics you want to okay so you see this field option so inside this field option let me open this into the next page next page and if i'll show you so if you see over here these are the multiple fields this which you can apply into this insights api okay and there are some metrics as well so you see uh, okay let me just show you the metrics okay so these are the metrics which is called the field another field so into this into this one you can say account name action values cost per action okay cost per video plays and all the things you can get over here and also impression reach clicks purchases website ros and all the things you will get into the insights api related to those campaigns okay so let's go into this insights api and here it has been defined so if you are using these three sdk like these two sdk php or python so you can call the data by like this this way or you can make the call request as well so in my case i'm going to tell you i'm going to show you in the call request because there's a node.js api as well but I, I didn't use that because if you use the call request so you don't have to pass the like uh, initialize all the time just you have to pass just change the parameter into the url and you can get the data by that okay so let's go let's see over here so you see this field you can pass like this action token you can pass and then this is the graph api which you can use so this was the 17 okay and this is the ad object id where the ad account id you have to pass because e each and every campaign comes into the ad account so ad account so this is how tree goes ad account campaigns ad set and ads okay so that ad set comes inside the campaign ads comes into the ad set and all of the these three comes inside the ad account okay so that's how it works so you need to provide the ad account id over here also you can provide the ins uh, campaign as well so if you put the campaign id so you can pull the all the insights related to that campaign which id you have provided over here okay so that's how you can see you can pass the level over here so level could be campaign ad set of ad so this is for ad so right now this is how the feeds as well so let's go and check the filtering part over here okay which is related to us so you see this option so inside this option you can pass the filtering so you have to decide the feed and i put the campaign dot id so let's suppose if you have assigned the level ad so you have to put ad dot id if you have assigned the level ad set so you have to put ad set dot id same for the campaign campaign dot id okay operator you can choose operator there are multiple operators like in any equal to all like you use in the SQL parameter so that's how you can assign the parameters so if you have multiple values over here so you can put in so any of these values comes into that one so you can pull data related to that okay inside the value you can pass multiple 
a string like this way okay by putting the comma so it will automatically check related to those values and then give you the data related to that okay so let's go into the postman i have already have done all the setup okay so this is my graph api so you can see access token and all the things i have provided so this isn't complete don't try to use this access token i just want to tell you because i'm going to change this one okay and these are the fields which i have assigned and this is the limits this is the levels and this is the date preset so date preset is a kind of maximum value it provides for the 37 months data because facebook insights data come only for the last 37 months not before that okay so you can pull on the last 37 months data so in the maximum you are if you are putting the date preset maximum so you can pull the last 37 month data it, it, which means last three years data okay so if i hit the enter okay i haven't used the filtering right now over here so you can see i have assigned the level add and i'm putting all these ads related to this add account id okay so this is my add account id right now okay so these are all the ads so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just use the filtering part over here filtering okay filtering and inside that let's copy this thing from here this thing from here this whole thing okay control p control c sorry like that control p and just put the add dot id over here add dot id and put the in operator over here and put the add id over so i'm gonna put some add id over there so i didn't search the sorry my bad so i didn't search the id into this one so i have to search id as well id is not the valid field why is that so okay campaign id okay i have to put the add id i think yeah add underscore id and then it's going to provide the id as well so you see uh, add id is also coming and i'm putting the pulling the data related to ads so i'm gonna put some add id over here like into the metric so you will see i'm gonna just getting the data related to those ads which i'm gonna put into the filter okay so let me just put it over here like this one. okay i'm gonna try these three only after that you can try multiple as well if you have multiple ad accounts as much as data you can like as much as id you can okay so i am passing almost uh, more than 100 so it gives the data related to so you have to pass the limit as well so if you increase the limit so you will get the data otherwise you will just uh, get the data in whatever the data comes into that date range whichever the date range you have assigned at that time okay so let's try this one so you see i'm going to be getting for three ads data so which are the ids or this one okay so in the same id so it's giving me the data by filtering so why i apply this method okay into my let's suppose i have 70 campaigns loading in a row okay i have to load the 70 campaigns inside for a maximum date range so what i will do i will pass all the 70 campaigns id in a single query and in the single query will give me all the in campaigns inside response okay so that's how you can get it so why i use this method because when first first of all i applied one by one like if i have loaded 70 campaigns in a row okay 70 campaigns over here so to the same table i have to call one by one for each and every campaign like inside api for each and every campaign so that's how it was started throttling my api calls okay so it started giving me the error like request limit reached okay so that was the big problem for me because when i was pulling like it was fine for the campaign when i was pulling the campaign data but it was not fine when i was pulling the ad set data and ads data okay so it will start giving you the error like request limit reached request limit reached and the error number is 70 so i'll show you the 70 number error as well okay uh, there would be some errors rate limiting if we go into the rate limiting uh, rate limiting limit and best practice we can go over here okay so error code 100 error codes error codes let's go down let's go down let's go down marketing api let's check this out so you see this one user request limit reach. so this error i was giving all the time in the api call of ads and ad sets okay but it works fine for the campaign all the time with the inside data but but when you like when you 
call 70 APIs at the same time. So some of the APIs got killed because it run in the one by one in the async method. So I was using the async away. And when the data was less like it was 20 data or 30 data, so I was putting all the 30 APIs in a single request. So it depends like my browser should not get freeze if I call more API calls at the same time. Okay. So I was managing all the things, but still it was showing me this error, request limit reach with the ads and attacks and it was happening regularly okay in the few minutes like if you call this few eight insights api like 70 when it crosses the 100 it will start throwing this error okay it has defined over here like if it can give you error after the 200 call per user but when i was calling making the 100 calls it was throwing me the error so that's why i came to this solution in the insights in the insights api and that gave me the proper solution so when i tried this one I had solved my all the problems. So you have to use the filtering part into this Facebook insights. So by using the filtering, you can load as much ads as well. And in a, like Facebook load, loads all the campaigns ads in a single request. So because they have their own database and everything, so it won't be hard for them. How like however they want to pull the data, they can pull it easily. If they want to collapse the data into the single like single camp with the single campaign, so they can do that as well. Okay, by the database. But in the API they have provided, it's not a proper thing. Like it's very hard to implement because you have to map the data somewhere and that's not an easy thing so that's why i came to the solution and i'm sharing with you guys so if you have any kind of problem so you can just uh, see this video and understand if you are still not able to understand these things so you can just write down the comments so i will help you as much as i can okay so thank you so much guys thank you for watching and this video was related to if you get the error message 17 uh, request limit reach so you can apply this solution so it will call only one api for the insights and you will be like uh, uh, saved with uh, from you will be saved from this uh, error which is called request limit reach by the throttling from the facebook because if you see cp limit increases like it goes to 100 so it takes some time to cool down on the facebook side then it will start giving you the proper response like uh, not the error response but uh, 200 response but it takes some time so until then you can't do anything so that's why thank you so much guys thank you for watching i'll meet you in the next video until then bye